Hi, I'm Tammy. I wrote the ebook, How to Make Your Own Bold Camper Top. You can purchase that online uh, on the website. This is the beginnings of your project. Um, you have your two inch Velcro strip that runs around the edge of your Bimini top. Um, and I'll be back to show you how all of that's going to be. Started. Okay, like I said, um, the finished product, the camper top. So, just originally off of the Bimini top, um, it snaps to the windshield and the pieces are attached also by a two inch Velcro. You can see the Velcro flap, the Velcro flap, the two pieces stick together. Um, it's held in tornadoes. My boat's been slipped at the dock and uh, tornado ripped through and, and the, the camper top was still on the boat. I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't floating right next to it or what, I, what have you, but I mean, high winds it stays. I've had it up on plane with these on, just looking through the windshield uh, during a rainstorm and the tops still stayed on. So the two inch Velcro is a really good hold for it. And it just peels right off like this. You can fold it up for easy storage. Um, I have a bag that I keep mine in. We'll go around to the back side and take a look at the back. Okay, like I said, this is the back of the boat. Um, as you can see, the solid piece is here. It's held in by the two inch Velcro strip. Um, this is four pieces, actually, four walls, a back, a front, two sides, and they all have the solid pieces that, again, you can just tear away. And because you're not using big, huge borders, you can sew this with, like I said, a regular sewing machine. The water runs right off with the solid piece on, but uh, on a nice day, there's your screen. Of course, all the all four walls have this much screen, so there's plenty of air circulation. They have the solid pieces to throw up whenever there's a storm, and, and you're still nice and warm and dry on the inside. So, if you want to purchase my book, you can go to www.howtomakeyourownboatcampertop.com. Uh, it's $12.99. Um, and you can build it for, I'd say, less than $800 and probably around 20 hours worth of work. So check that out. Thanks for watching.